Uh, I'm from the future. Uh, this is actually Marie's Friday pickup, and today is Saturday. Just didn't get around to doing it. I couldn't go shopping. There weren't a lot of sales anyway. The weather was weird. But I couldn't go shopping because I was at the store signing papers. Well, I wasn't at the store. I was at the real estate agent. And we were signing papers and, and paying monies and checks and things like that. But um, so Marie went shopping without me. Uh, sometimes Marie, buy, Marie buys differently than I do, so she doesn't always buy what I buy. Now, these three items here, a friend of mine gave me a heads up that a sale of his literally down the block had a table full of perfumes. And so Marie, that was one of the places Marie went. I don't know if she went there first. Um, but first, let me just say, I spent $15 on all of this. Well, I didn't spend anything. Marie spent $15 on this. Um, stuff that you see here. And uh, one of the sales she went to, like I said, my friend called, uh, let us gave us a heads up. He was down the block. And he wasn't dealing, he doesn't like to deal with perfumes. He, if he gets stuff cheap, he'll work with it. But um, the woman that was selling this, Marie shows up to the sale, and the one of the there's two women there. There's two tables of perfume. One of the ladies we know deals on, with perfume on eBay, right? So we're like, oh. But she said, no, no, no. She's not doing any eBay right now. Uh, her health hasn't been great. So she just wasn't looking or buying any of the perfume. So Marie went through all the perfumes. Because my friend Dan sent me a picture of the perfumes. That And if, if, I, if I have the picture... I probably don't. I would include it, but it was a table full of perfumes, and I was like, ugh, I wish I could go. It doesn't matter. Like I said, Marie went. So Marie went, and she said, well, how much are the perfumes on the table? And the lady's like, a buck a piece. So I'm sure some of the really good ones were probably gone. Like, I thought I saw in one of the pictures there was a Chanel, but this is what was left. And uh, this one is a Worth. Worth is can be a good name, and it says, ugh, it's hard to read. But it's something Revien, uh, Reviens. I've had this. Parfum de Toilet uh, by Worth. Something France. And I don't really know the size. It might say the size on the bottom. Let's see if I can focus on that. Mm. I can't tell. The letters are worn, but I'll figure it out. Whatever. This one here, this is Arpege Eau de Lavin. It's a mist. It's a one and one half ounces. Lavin's okay. Oh, this is a refill. Hmm. That's unusual. I've never had a refill before. But I'm assuming this is worth 20 to 30. This one should be worth 20 to 30. And then here's one. It's called Cocaine. <laughs> uh, I don't know how full it is, but Marie thought this was uh, pretty interesting. A lot of people like to smell cocaine. <laughs> I don't really even know if cocaine has a smell. Whoever made this smell must have smelled cocaine. The problem is, is if you smell cocaine and you smell too much of it, you could probably get a heart attack. <laughs> I, I'm imagining it doesn't smell exactly like the drug cocaine, but it's an interesting name for perfume anyway. Suggested retail, even back then, was 25, and it's Pierre Vivian. I kind of like these un unusual ones I've never seen before. Yeah, Pierre Vivian, because I have no clue what it's worth. You know, it's interesting to find out. These I kind of, I can ballpark. This one I've never had before, so. All right, so moving on. Uh, she got these three uh, perfumes and, and some cocaine. One of them's cocaine, and if you like the smell of cocaine, that's for you. Anyway, <clears throat> she got these two. Made in Austria, and let's see. I don't know. Nueva Shera? Eva. Oh, that's nice. Eva Scherer. Scherer. S-H-E-R-E-R. -E -E Wine Austria. So I'm assuming this one is also... Yeah. Okay. That could be good. You know, I'm not really sure. Here, let me see if I... I'll focus in on this so you can really see it. All right. Don't know. She paid ten for these, which I I, th I thought was fair, you know, not bad. And here's the last thing that Marie got. All of these pens, a box full of these, and we've actually we've been using one for two dollars. And these are kind of neat because you can use this. It's got the rubber tip. You can use it on your tablet. Let me try and focus in on that. 
I don't know if it focuses. It doesn't matter. Anyway, it's got like a rubber tip. And if you want to write with it, there. And I used it, and it's actually a pretty good pen. So uh, anyway, that's everything that Marie got. Um, after this video, there'll be a, a little bit longer video. We went to a town-wide, and I guess, it, what was it, Wyckoff or something? I don't know. I said any other one. We went to about 40 sales, and I found some stuff, a couple of good things, nothing like, oh, my God, you know, like that, like the week before. Um, tomorrow, I don't think I'm going to do anything. The weather is not working in my favor, and so I'll probably just do some eBay. Um, AJ was going to do the Sterling Street Fair, which was what I was going to do, too. And Saturday, today, we weren't even able to do anything either because it rained in the morning. So it, it, it even killed the Meadowlands for AJ. He wasn't even able to do that. Anyway, that's it. That's everything I got. Um, no scummy resellers on this. I didn't do any filming. Um, but go check. Check the video that comes after this. It'll be right after this. And then go uh, check the scummy resellers later because I, I did uh, some live hunting. A lot of walking around, looking, talking to people, checking stuff out. Um, and if you like that stuff, it should be at least an hour long of it. Anyway, I'm out of here. Um, 